Hello everyone, Jambir JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to bring you the unboxing and review of the flagship AIO from MSI, the uh, Core Liquid S360. So as you probably know that uh, MSI has three different products lined up, the uh, MAG, uh, MPG, and MEG. There's like three lined up, and this one's the top one. And uh, I think during the, um, uh, the second half of last year, they also released their uh, liquid cooling products for their E series and A series uh, of liquid cooling products, and uh, I think this one uh, is you know performance wise, I'm not expecting a lot of difference compared to the RLG's Ryogen Two. Uh, for the matter of fact, they're both using the uh, A Stack Seven uh, generation of the uh, of the pump, which is you know sometimes people mention that it has a little bit higher noise compared to the previous generations. And of course, as their liquid premium products, they also have a, uh, a very fancy small screen here that can show some of the status of your system. And I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that MSI didn't use any uh, the uh, RGB fans for their products because normally uh, they do. And all other, um, you know, products, they, they always have, uh, you know, RGBs on their fans to show off, um, you know, in your system. But this one is more like a stealth looking. So yeah, uh, enough talk of this. Uh, without further ado, let's get started unboxing this product. Okay, so here's everything inside the box. So we got three fans here. This is their uh, Saturn Gale fan. Um, There's not RGB here. So we that means that we have less cable, which is good. And uh, this fan looks pretty um, high build quality with rubber pads on the uh, four corner of the fans, which reduces the, um, uh, the noise while running. And I'm actually expecting a lot from these fans. This is actually uh, uh, the hydro bearing uh, compared to the ball bearing. The working uh, condition is a little bit different, but uh, the performance wise, it should be the same. And uh, we also have some of the, uh, um, the promotion cards and this is the uh, installation guide. And for this, I'm kind of curious. So right now we have the, uh, uh, this is the, uh, the mounting bracket for AM4, of course. This is the Intel uh, bracket. And uh, this is one is the uh, uh, some of the mounting screws. I think this is although it's not labeled. This is for uh, LGA twelve hundred probably. And uh, this one is some um, screws for mounting the AIO onto your case or everything. And uh, here this is the AM four mounting one, and this is the LGA seventeen hundred mounting bracket. Uh, that is you know compatible with the latest twelve gen CPU. And. Uh, Right here, uh, this is the AIO itself. Uh, as I mentioned earlier that uh, this one is probably, I think this is exactly the same as the uh, the Ryogen one. Uh, it's all using the uh, very slim radiators. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, these radiators were, I don't know how, how good the performance will be consider they're using a, a very slim radiator. And even if you have a very powerful fan, it doesn't do much because it is very easy blow through. Um, and here we have the, uh, oh my God, this is a huge screen here. Let me take the cover off and look what's inside here. This is a magnetic cover. Uh, 
So here's the cover. Um, you can show the stuff here. Yep, and this is magnetic. We have some magnetic uh, right here on this side. And uh, this is and this is the pump itself. So as you can see, there's uh, a little fan in here um, that can actually um, help you to cool the VRAM uh, hypothetically. And uh, this is the little screen here. That's where all you spend your money at this. Um, and I have to critically criticize this again. So although you're using a copper coat plate and they're using like a, a, a thermal pad that is round, and right now, like there's no CPU that is like a wrong shape. So you cannot cover every spot of the CPU with a round apply of the, um, uh, the pre-applied thermal paste. So that's why I always, you know, erase this off and use the ones that I have for myself. Um, so that for better cooling performances. Um, yep, and look at the connectors here. So we have a, um, yep, this is a USB 2.0 connector to your motherboard. This is the, uh, the to connect to your CPU fan, which I think controls your controls the pump. And um, here's the uh, uh, the daisy chain of the three fans, and there's a SATA port. So because of the fans, like thank thank God these fans were not RGB. So we have uh, three last cables for this and also this, which is makes your build a little bit cleaner. And uh, next, I'm going to uh, put this into my testing rig and compare with the. Uh, uh, both EK AIO 360 and also the uh, the Kraken Z73 to see how they perform uh, with the latest you know A stack seventh gen um, pump. So stay tuned. So I have the uh, MSI Center uh, load up, which shows a core liquid uh, AIO here. So first of all, I want to mention that the direction of this, you can um, you know, tune it into whatever direction you want, which is pretty nice. And um, there is customized hardware monitor, there is video and image, uh, which has a lot of different choices. There's custom banner uh, of this, and there's a system clock, and there's different version of this. I say that this is quite interesting. You, I don't know why you need to monitor live weather from your system, but uh, having this feature be available is definitely quite interesting. And we also have the fan setting, which is balance, gate mode, customize. Uh, there's no like extreme setting, so I guess default is um, custom. So we can have the radiator fan run like a hundred percent by tuning this up, like this. And then we have the pump, which is default at, we can tune in the pump as well to the maximum. And we have to also have the water block fan. This is really nice that you can tune in the water block fans to cool your VRAM at the same time. Let's tune all of them to the max to see what they can do. Okay, so the water pump, it's spinning up. And I can already hear the sound coming out from this. Yep, it is pretty loud. CPU temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. Pump fan. And uh, can feel a little bit wind coming out from this. Uh, from what MSI advertised that this um, this small fan like cooling your VRAM is going to be uh, quite powerful but I feel like the wind is quite small although it's like you know uh, spinning at full speed I don't think it helps that much I don't have a thermometer that I can test this but I don't feel like it's doing a lot but let's see the performance let's see how it does compared to the other AIOs while the, uh, uh, the, the uh, FPU test is running, I start notice that the noise is mainly coming from the water block fan. So if you turn that down, uh, I mean, it's, it's much better in terms of noise. We can check the, uh, the silent gale fan here. 
it is pretty quiet. I was always running at full speed. I can feel the wind coming out from the other side of the uh, radiator. And let's see how they look like while they're running. Yep, looks pretty cool. So now let's look at the, the setup here. So basically it's the uh, 5800X and the ambient room temperature is around like 23 to 24 degrees Celsius. And we can see the temperature, there isn't much of a difference between the S360 and the Z73. But the, the EK360 is uh, you know, definitely a little bit cooler than these of two. Uh, you know, they were doing like custom loops, so this must be easier for them. Okay, so now it comes to the uh, the conclusion part. I don't know what you guys feel uh, after watching this video. So you probably have noticed I have already mentioned, you know, reviewed several of the AOs, and uh, I would say that is quite a disappointment. So except for some, you know, the fancy LCD screens, these AOs definitely has no improvement uh, according to what I'm feeling. Um, you know, at least versus this generation of CPU um, in terms of cooling capacities. So if you think about like, you know, someone may would say, hey, the uh, the AMD CPUs is well known for, you know, it's, uh, it's heat dispersion. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to get its heat out. But we do see that the EKIO was able to achieve five or six degrees um, lower than compared to the other, uh, the other two which is uh, quite interesting. And this is like a, a older model of the, uh, the EKIO. Now they have the Elite. This is not even the Elite version. So I would imagine that they, they are performing even better for the Elite version. So for, <clears throat> for the uh, MSI Core uh, Liquid, um, you, we are seeing its performance very, very on par with the Kraken Z73, which was released in 2020. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, let's, let's still talk about some of the good things about the AO. Um, so the pros, so first of all, uh, it's supporting, it's already supporting the, uh, uh, the 12th century CPU, which is the LG A7000 standard. Uh, but you know, as the time goes more and more, um, you know, this AO will start to including LG A7000 support. So this is no longer a benefit as time proceeds. And the second benefit is, you know, the fancy LED city screens is more, even more customizable uh, with this background and everything. I mean, uh, up to this point, I feel like this has already become a trend. So it's, it's on every single AIO that uh, each brand, uh, you know, has come to offer. Uh, also for the EK, I think they also is going to release a AIO with, you know, an LCD screen on it. And I, I, I can tell in the future that they're going to include more features and really surprised. So I'm not quite sure about uh, how this works, but uh, if you're really into this, this is a good thing, but if you're not and you don't want to spend too much on this, this might not be the, the right one for you. And the other thing is uh, these fans, these uh, Silent P12 Gale fans, for these fans, they're actually uh, getting into the performance um, as, as what, it, what they advertise. So these were pretty nice fans and um, uh, I would expect this because there's no RGB on it. So your performance should be a little bit better compared to the ones with RGB fans on it. Now let's talk about the, the bad thing about this. So the first thing is the price. So this thing, um, it's, I think, you know, if you convert the price, uh, it's around like $400 plus tax. Uh, without tax, it's like 379 or something or 369, uh, according to Memory Express uh, in Canadian dollars. So uh, this price is like a more expensive than the Kraken Z73. Well, it doesn't even improve in anything else. So I would say that, you know, after all these years of, you know, designing and, you know, learning from each other, there's, there's definitely no improvement. And uh, uh, it's, it's not worth it getting one of these. And the DKIO, the 360D RGB one, uh, is much cheaper than this. If you're not into the, you know, these fancy LCD screens, definitely get some of one of that or also you know the uh, there's also the arctic liquid cooler um which i think you know performs even better compared to these ones so if you're a performance guy this is you know the price to performance level is not the same for you and uh, the second thing is um you know it has a relatively huge pump and the lcd cover 
Um, I think this is the same design with the ASUS one, the ASUS Ryogen 2. Uh, they also have a huge cover that is magnetic, you can take it off. Uh, but for for this one, you know, it, it it's huge. You know, if you were thinking of using this in your ITX case, you have to be very, very careful about that because uh, it's definitely taking a lot of uh, height and it's also taking a lot of space, uh, uh, you know, just because of this cover. So, uh, you know, really look at the uh, dimensions before you purchase this to see if you have enough clearance uh, for your motherboard. And uh, the next thing is that uh, I think the uh, uh, the VRAM cooling fans is basically useless. So uh, I I have you know when when the AI was running, I have put my hands in there and trying to see great amount of wind coming out from the uh, uh, from this fan and you know cooling your VRAM down. Uh, even if I turn into the the loudest speed, which is even louder than all of these three bytes combined together, and uh, uh, also my GPU. It is. It is still. You know. I. I don't feel the wind coming out from the, the I O. I think partially is because of the uh, the design of this cover. Uh, it's blocking. Uh, you know some of the uh, the wind out. I really don't like this. Uh, VRAM cooling fans. You know. It's generating noises. Uh, it's increasing the cost. It's doing nothing. Uh, you know for your VRAM and also for your uh, entire, um, motherboard. And uh, the last thing is like I, I feel like there's uh, the last thing is also the one that I have talked about earlier that there's no improvement. Think about Aorus ones. I know that Aorus uh, Water Force X they're really bad for their uh, software, but in terms of tube, they are they have a you know enlarged tubing, and uh, but for this one it's basically exactly the same thickness of tubing or thickness of radiator. There's no improvement whatsoever. It's just the pump. They're just using the uh, the uniform Gen Seven of the ASTEC Town pump, which is you know uniform across also ASUS, ROG, Ryogen Two. Uh, yeah, there's no improvement. Oh, also speaking of this, the cover just fall off. It's it's just being glued there with the uh, with a sticker. Look at this. This is poor build quality as far as I can concern right here. So. Yeah, this is pretty bad. It's not sticky enough to uh, stick the the board in there, and for the fact that it's it's not even magnetic, it's making me upset. So this cover is very poor build quality, and this thing is even, you know, costing fifty, sixty dollars. That's insane. Okay, so uh, yeah. I would say that a huge disappointment from this um, AIO here, um, you know, in terms of all the uh, pros and cons that I've been talking about earlier. So yeah, um, you know, that's all my review for the MSI MEG um, S360. So if you like this video, um, click hit that like button down there. And if you have some questions, feel free to post in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye.